I know what I'm about. Hopefully, you can hear me with, with all the wind and everything else. But uh, I did a video on this the other day. Um, I'm hoping I've got it up and done it's all coming out alright. Um, because I'm going to strip it down now. Well, I say strip it, I'm going to take this, in, this deck off with the engine on it. Um, I have cheated a little bit because I undone all the cables last night. Um, there's a reason for that. <laughs> While I've got the salts in here and whining. Um, yeah, there's a reason I took the cables off because the cables have got springs on the end. And I'm so fed up with the comments of people saying, Oh, I can't get a spring on this, I can't get a spring. I've done videos years ago about springs, maybe I need another one, but um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so rather than to avoid the question about the springs on the end of the cables and that, I've just done them, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a pain in the arse every time I do a, a mower video. I mean, I'm getting questions on the, like the hater rollers and stuff like that. Oh, I can't get a spring on. It's impossible to get a spring. Well, it ain't because I've done it, and you can see it. But well, I suppose my size helps. But um, that's all down to technique, and it. And if you can't get a spring on, you just walk away, have a cup of tea, come back the next day, don't you? But anyway, so I've done like I've done the cables to it um, so what I plan to do now is what's left of the deck which connected I'm going to disconnect it drop it down and then we'll have another look and hopefully you can hear and there's not too much wind noise so right this is quite funny um, you got like an R-clip on here for like a quick release part of the deck <laughs> the back has got a quick release on it I'll show you that in a minute hopefully but everything on this side is bolted so <laughs> there's no quick release on. I don't quite understand the, the idea of it but, but uh, yeah I suppose it's cheaper I suppose it's cheap I suppose it's, it's just cheaper and I've just connected the cable in here and uh, petrol pipes off throttle cables off I mean, all pretty obvious things you can do yourself. Um, this linkage here is a spring on it, one side the clutch, and then you have the spring from the the cable through the clutch here. Um, hopefully, you can see I've got a camera in the right place. I can't see the screen because it's it's too light out here. Um, yeah, so this bar goes up and it's only got an R clip holding it so hopefully I'll just undo the R clip and that will bolt the other side and the deck will be down the drive belt runs obviously from the pulley down and out to the back axle or to the, T, the gearbox which is separate on this I can't really see it from this angle there and because them, them belt guides are so tight to the uh, the pulley what I've done is I just took the pulley off because it's only a plastic pulley with a circlip hold it I did always like I say last night to save a bit of time Right, as you can see it's out. See it's uh literally just fell through the deck. I, I, I didn't bang it down as you see. But, uh, yeah. So all I basically had to do was take a clip out of that and unbolt that side of it. Uh, the, the thing is to get the engine out of it. Uh, yeah. Might even drag it inside for that so we're out the wind. Right, I just thought I'd have a quick look at this while we've got it 
Got the engine and everything out of the way. It's not a lot to it really. Um, you've got to remember these were sort of the same price as say a uh, Hayat 48. Hayat 48, 40, you know, or 56 at the time. Um, people thought they were getting a, you know, a good deal because it was a ride on. I suppose you are, but obviously it's not, you're not going to get a lot more than <laughs> for your money. You're paying that sort of price, but um, yeah, so we've got a few options now. Um, we could go back to a mower deck and all the rest of it and restore it. Could do. I think it's been disconnected properly, so it can all go back. Yeah, it will all go back together. Or we could. I don't know, a few options, you know, but because it's like a cheap, nasty built thing, it's, it's what it is. Um, like the steering, it's got self steering with the suspension. It's just a, no, it's, it's a, just a cheap design. Well, it's fine when you're cutting grass, but if you want anything fast, you know, it would be a little bit <laughs> dodgy, but just, you know, think of the options we could do with it. Um, I've always said about this gearbox and axle to, to keep, I've been talking about it, but um, I'm guessing the internals of that gearbox is plastic, I'm guessing, not the cogs, you know, sprockets and stuff. Um, front sprocket is plastic, and his lovely big sprocket on the back, plastic. Um, again, it's done what it needs to do, isn't it? I mean, it still it still works. And the tension on the chain is just this little metal springy, or oh, springy bit of metal. But, um, like I say, the pulley for that is plastic. What goes on? Well, I just took because obviously these are sort of the belts in there tight, so it's easier just to slide that off. Uh, all the mounts, bushes. One, two, three, three of them. They're all plastic. Uh, they're not rubber. They're plastic. So um, if you want to make anything fast out of it, you'd have to beef it up a lot. Um, but it would make a nice little go kart. Put the put some brackets on here. Put the engine on. You know, just we'll keep your options open. Or like I say, it can be broken for for parts. Now everything is pretty good on it. A bit of rust on the air, but it's solid enough. The chassis solid enough. Um, axle gearbox, everything work. Brake work. Um, seats okay, reasonable. As I said in the other video, a little bit of damage to the back of this. The tub. A little bit of damage to the back, a bit more than I noticed before, but not a lot. Still usable. But uh, yeah, because there's a few options. Um, yeah, anyway, got to look at this engine, haven't we? So I just thought we a quick look at the engine. I've uh, got to take it in yet. Um, yeah, so... This is the, the clutch for the, the drive. For the rear end. Um, got the gearbox goes on here. Obviously this course is, you know, does all the drive. This is the clutch for... You know, going forward, backwards, all that sort of stuff. And then underneath, I'm going to lift it up. Lift it. There we go. That's the blade clutch. Um, just in case you haven't seen one before. I've had them on the video, I've changed them on the height. It's exactly the same clutch. Um, manual clutch, that is. Blade clutch. Um, BBC ones. Hey, that's what they, they fit them, so. Um, yeah, so that's a look at the, the dim clutch. So, when I say about getting the clutch off the bottom or the, the blade clutch or whatever, um, that's that one. And <laughs> chuck it down to the shop. Um, and that one is the, the drive clutch for travelling, for the machine to travel. Very, very basic, sort of simple setup. 
but you got to think when all this has got springs on it so a fair bit of tension on the on the you know on this this here i don't see this mark that's where the pulley was catching off the off the um gearbox and the sort of, well, i say mark obviously it's right right away at the back here well, so when we get the engine off we'll have to have, have to have another look at it see how bad it is but because the grass, it was full of grass you couldn't see none of this i still haven't really poked it about but uh yeah but we'll get all these bits off because they're all coming handy and we'll get the engine off yeah right i got a bit sidetracked um but i've got the engine off and that but cool, you, I don't think you need the birds outside, but hell of a noise. But uh, yeah, so um, like I say, it's all off. Um, there's a few options for me. I can do, make it in a go kart or flog it for bits or do a bit of both. I've even thought about putting the uh, lift end engine in it to uh, sort of see if I can get the setup ready for, or get it set up right for um, the fast eight. I don't know. Um, I'm being sort of interested in how much punishment one of them little gearboxes will take. Um, one of little sort of T-drive uh, gearboxes. Cause I'm guessing it's all plastic inside. I'm, I don't know if anybody's ever raced one or anything. Um, but we might have to do a little experiment with, with that. Because um, it could be a cheap way of getting a T-drive for the uh, <laughs> the Murray. If we build it into a race or something like that. Get, just it's just options, you know. I mean, my, my mind's running 100 mile an hour all the time, um, trying to trying to do other things. I just don't want to see it all go to scrap. And you know, I know you get a few parts of it, but you end up scrapping most of it. I don't want to see that. I'd rather make something out of it or do something with it. But while you've got so many things going on at the moment with uh, the Bobber Chopper um, and a few other bits, I've had a, I've had a week or so off for that. So. Um, Oh, I'll get back on top. I've just been doing other bits and pieces. Um, so the plan is for, for me is to clear the workshop a bit and then so I'll get back in here and then we'll get back on with the projects and anything else we're doing. Anyway, if you like that, give it a thumbs up. If you want more mower videos, give us a thumbs up because I've got a few mowers coming in at the moment over the next couple of weeks and I don't have to film, film or not. I can't make mind up. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, ring the bell, we use some crap there, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget, it's okay not to be okay. <laughs>